Hi everyone, I am Sridhar SM, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, BITM Balari. We'll discuss about strain gauges in this session. Strain gauges are the resistance transducers. When a metal conductor is stretched or compressed, its resistance changes on account of the both length and the diameter of a conductor change. And the value of resistivity of a conductor also changes. It is measurement transducers used for measuring strain and associated stress. When a metal conductor is strained, its property called as piezo resistance and strain gauges are also called, called as piezo resistive gauges uh, secondly uh, many other detectors and transducers notably load cells torque meters diaphragm type pressure gauges temperature sensors accelerometer and flow meters employ a strain gauge as a secondary transducer so there are four types of strain gauges wire wound strain gauge foil type strain gauge semiconductor strain gauge and capacitive strain gauge first we'll discuss about wire wound strain gauges wire wound strain gauge has two main classes bonded strain gauge and unbonded strain gauge firstly bonded strain gauge it is composed of a fine wire bonded and cemented on resilient insulating support usually a wafer such units mounted on a structures whose deformation under stress are to be determined well there are no limits to the basic values which may be selected for strain gauge resistance may be considered as 100 to 500 ohms the following figure shows some basic commonly used form of resistance wire strain gauges figure a shows linear strain gauge where a resistance wire is cemented on a carrier base and terminals are taken out and figure b shows resettlers where wire is gridded in a specific shape on a base and terminals are taken out the figure c shows torque gauge where the wire is gridded in a specific form for measurement of a torque and helical gauge is wire circularly wounded on a base so this commonly used form of the resistor wire strain gauges are meant for a specific measurement of a physical quantity next we discuss about unbonded strain gauge the unbonded strain gauge consists of pickup and a measuring network first we'll see the construction of the unbonded strain gauge m and n are attached to a rod M and N respectively to points between which displacement is to be measured. Pickup and measuring networks are energized from the similar but isolated source. Unbalance originated in the pickup is detected and balanced by the servo actuated measuring network providing a reading of strain on a graduated scale 
the unbonded strain gauge the resistance structure comprises of fine wire winding stretched between the insulating support mounted alternately on the two members between displacement to be measured these wire comprises the four arms of the Wheatstone bridge network which two opposite arms are tightened and other two are slackened by the displacement strain gauge used for ac circuits supplied in both capacitive and inductive forms wherein corresponding characteristics of ac circuit components are varied by the displacement to be measured so we'll see the comparison between bonded and unbonded strain gauge the bonded strain gauge tends to respond to the average strain in the surface to which it is cemented so we have seen the four different forms of the commonly used bonded strain gauges so it depends on the uh, physical structure of the bonded strain gauge and unbonded form measure the displacement between the two points to which the respective supports are attached so again in turn we have seen the example of the construction of an unbonded strain gauge and it depends on the structural arrangement of the unbonded gauge as well unbonded wire strain gauge are use, usually operated on input potential ranging up to 35 volts direct or alternating current under constant condition of extreme balance corresponding to full operating range the open circuit emf may be of the order 8 to 10 millivolts and the closed circuit current up to 100 micro amps the requirement and characteristics of strain gauges we'll see in the next video thank you